Hello everyone, it's George and welcome back to Call of Dragons. As a dedicated free-to-play player who played this game for one year, I'm excited to share some insider tips and tricks with you. Stick around and let's dive in. If you have seen, we have received an email from the developers of the game regarding the changes which we're gonna have in the future seasons, which I think is a really really important changes, so that's why I decided to showcase my view and my opinion about the changes, right? Uh, the new season, which we gonna, which will be called the Frozen Fury, is coming. Um, after completing season T1, players will begin a whole new season, which is a great news. More content for players. Brand new season policies. It's pretty normal. Normal. Every single season, we have been getting uh, policies, upgraded policies, some new additions, some old ones removed, and that's pretty normal change. The seasonal talents are back, whether you want to focus on melee attacks, range combat or building an impeccable defense, all new paths to battlefield supremacy awaits you in the new season. Amazing change, for example myself, I have been a huge uh, fan of the uh, long, long range warfare, simply because as a marksman main, uh, this season has been amazing for me. I always wanted to have a longer range as a marksman, and in general, depending on your playstyle, you will be adjusting the talents. And the most important change is that this seasonal talents is going to stay with us in future seasons, which brings game to a different dimension. I'm all about this change and it's an amazing change in my opinion. Finally, we are able to get a new two legendary heroes. If you have seen my live streams or content, I have been saying that next marksman heroes will be one uh, flying hero for wyverns and the second one the garrison because we have not had a garrison marksman hero at all so first one will be legendary hero zaida marksman pvp mobility uh, mobility talent tells me that this one will be for the wyverns flying hero and finally we are getting a garrison marksman legendary hero with the precision talent uh, my opinion is that precision talent is the best talent which you can get for marksman heroes which like from the first view i like the talents i like the uh, choices so let's see in the future what kind of skills and synergies those heroes will have uh, i guessed quite good my guess was correct uh, first one mobility it says that it's a flying one and the garrison of course well it was easy to understand that next marksman heroes should have been the garrison well one at least right the new artifact, as always, whenever there is a new hero coming out to the game, there is a new artifact, which will be called Guilded Crossbow, Marksman PvP Assault, Damage Dealer Artifact, which will be available through the Forge of the Light and Riches of the Forest. Unfortunately, this artifact will be available for a, a pay-to-win players, because in general, Forges of the Light and Riches of the Forest needs a lot of gems, and those type of gems is not accessible for a free-to-play player. Uh, improved Warped training process and features. Uh, you can now upgrade the star ratings of your Warped skills by consuming skill cards. Well, important change. Uh, these key like stars so you, which you can get right now with the pets was only obtainable through the random right you should have been lucky in order to have a talent skill at least on a one star from now on we are going to use the skills which we're gonna get from the capturing or like changing the pets in order to rise up the stars of the uh, skills right it's a great change which means organically simply just playing the game you will be able like you will be able to upgrade those stars and before it was simply luck or you have to have paid some gems uh, in order to have a better stars on the skills from now on i would suggest you guys to don't sell your skills and try to collect them as much as possible because it will be really really valuable for your uh, progression of your pets uh, each time you release a warped, you will receive a skill card for a one of that warped skills. If the warped has no skill, you will you will receive a random item. Uh, you no longer have to spend skill cards to unlock a warped existing skill slots. Amazing change! Uh, it would be have it would have been waste to use skill cards for the upgrading the stars and to 
uh, unlocking the slot right now you are not going to use these cards skills in order to uh, unlock the slot Warpeds themselves uh, no longer need to be upgraded however you can reload your warpeds attributes through the regeneration in general attributes for the warpeds are one of the most important aspects because uh, the skills are getting their strengths from the attributes and that's why you need to have a high amount of s tier attributes in order your for your skills to be uh, like useful and important added an auto regeneration feature saving your time and effort pretty fine ui change there is no longer an option to attack beasts you can now capture warpeds by dragging your legion to them making us easier to capture it uh, improved information display for warped training you can now see recommended skills for your warped on the skill page and see previous effects for upgraded warped skills well i should not have should not be making more warped guides because we will have a ui uh, display where it will say which kind of skills will be good for the this spe uh, like specific warped Nice change, a um, lot of people will be happy about this change too. You can purchase a limited number of 1 star Warped skill cards at the pet exchange, make sure to plan your purchase carefully. Now, also, in my opinion, one of the most important change here is increase, increase the number of slots in your pet enclosure. You, can, uh, you now start with 5 more slots, 15 more slots can be now be uh, unlocked by using items. Uh, using items really good because right now in order to unlock these slots you need to pay some gems and for a free to play player and in general for the players of this game uh, it's um, there is like much better ways to spend gems in this game rather than uh, like opening these slots in my opinion right and even richer combat experience as i have mentioned before uh, call of dragons uh, has one of the best combat uh, gameplay in all kingdom builder games and they are making it even better let's see what kind of changes they are giving to us adjusted rules for the deducting command points command points will only be deducted upon successfully defeating enemy units great change because in the past if you got defeated by the darkling or some beast you still have spent the command points and in my opinion command points are one of the most valuable resources in the game because in order to get them you need to wait for hours in order to make it full right great change i like it a lot but in my opinion most important change is here uh, like upon entering battle aoe skills will no longer deal damage to dark forces for example, if you are playing with Walder and you have Awakened Walder, you know it deals uh, damage to a couple of nearby legions. If you are during the war hitting the enemy legion and there is a nearby creature which like uh, got hit by your skill, the creature would attack you which would like you would spend your troops to kill the dark creature or dark forces, any of them. Which is not a thing you want to do whenever you are fighting, right? You are fighting against the enemy real players, PvP, and you want to do that. If you want to farm, you will go to kill the dark creatures and you will have experience, right? So this is an important change. Like almost every single live stream, at least once, I have hit uh, the dark uh, creature and uh, I had to move back my legion in order to refill the troops inside, right? Uh, improved simple mode well like uh, added the button to enable and disable simple mode in the settings general well some ui changes some changes for pc which is not that important but what's the interesting is that they are changing infantry um, like um, and cavalry uh, skill talent skills um, like strengths right improved infantry units pvp abilities allowing them to do to more effectively respond to range attacks the infantry unit skill swordsman counter-attack x-men counter-attack iron bark trains counter-attack has been have been changed to sword swordsman alertness axman alertness well it's just depending on your faction whichever you are right previously the infantry troops uh, would launch a counter-attack when attacked by range units but deal the health their counter-attack damage now from the this update whenever the range unit is going to attack you uh, like you can only deal 50 percent counter-attack damage they also have a 15 percent chance to gain one stack of ironclad each stack of ironclad reduces ranged damage taken by five percent 
Well, I guess they are buffing the infantry troop type, making them even more tankier. Uh, like damage taken from the range units by 5% for 15 seconds is a lot, which is stacking itself and there is a maximum of 8 stacks. This can be triggered by the same enemy legion once every 80 seconds. Well, we are making infantry legions more tanky, uh, which will allow um, more tier 5 players to just rush their infantry legions and destroy everybody because nobody likes to uh, hit infantry legions, right? Because they die not that fast. Adjusted Offensive Talent Intrepid. Uh, previously, uh, when casting Rage Skill, your legion gains normal attack focus increased uh, their normal attack crit rate by 1% for 5 seconds. It got changed and now when your legion launches a normal attack, they have 100% chance to gain a normal attack focus. Focus is great. Increased their normal attack crit rate by 8% for, for 5 seconds. This can be triggered once every 8 seconds. Well, 100% chance is always great to see, which means you are simply applying this talent like every single time, right? Adjusted, adjusting uh, gathering talent, joyful labor. Uh, previously, when your legion is hit with a normal attack while gathering, they have a 20% chance to become invulnerable, which means you are not taking any damage. And take no damage for uh, 2, 4, 6, 8 and 10 seconds. This effect can be triggered once every 30 minutes. Uh, this got changed um, and the changed one will be when your transport legion is hit with a normal attack while gathering they have uh, 20, 40, 60, 80 and 100 percent chance to become invulnerable and take no damage for next 10 seconds. Well, <clears throat> it will make easier for us to uh, rush our gatherers if they got attacked by the enemy to the base so you will be able to keep your resources which you have been farming for hours, right? Adjusted Ice to its skills, Frost Arrows previously deals damage to target legion, reduces their march speed and inflicts one stack of snowstorm, damage type magic, damage factor 1200 and march speed 20% minus. In general I think the turrets is not that amazing addition to the game because whenever like one alliance will take a like upper hill and they will build the tons of turrets it's almost impossible to break through, right? Like simply because there is also keeps where you can save, like uh, keep your legions inside and whenever you are trying to attack those kind of territories, turrets are hitting you, like um, ice turret is slowing you, poison is taking damage, fire is like pure damage and also enemy legions are hitting you. So like this, this tells me like in general turret meta tells me that defensive formation uh, wins most of the time uh, in my opinion. Adjusted Season Talent Skill, Cavalry Vanguard. And this change will take effect in Season TI, which is right now, and Season B2. After the update, the Season Talent Reset cooldown will be reset for uh, zero for all players who have already activated the Seasonal Talent. That's for the Cavalry players who choose to go to the Cavalry Tree of the Seasonal Talents. Uh, previously, when your Cavalry units launch an underlying rush at their target, rush speed has and range is increased by 15%. Now, when your Cavalry will use this skill, uh, the rush speed will be increased for 20% and each time your Cavalry unit successfully rush a range unit, their attack is raised by 2.5%. Well, uh, they are making cavalry units to counter range units and, and that's how it should have been, been done in the first place because right now cavalry units are simply dying whenever they are fighting against range ones. So increasing their attack will benefit them a lot, which is a quite a good change because in my opinion cavalry legion type is one of the weakest in the game currently. Some behemoth changes, uh, behemoth raids are normal difficulty uh, at normal difficulty will no longer have a participant limits. A great change because uh, for some uh, competitiveness there is like elite raids which you can uh, fight with your alliance but for normal man ones I think there should not be have been a limit because everybody should be participating because uh, Behemoth is a combat where everybody should have experience uh, for the elite ones, right? Improved formation display for Behemoth rage, um, raids, well that's some UI change Improved some display again. They are making uh, like certain uh, dragon trail stages uh, difficulty, like additional legion overuse will be displayed while making dragon trail even more, more simpler. 
Other improvements, um, fixed, fixed a text error, well, not let's not speak about the text errors and the uh, language uh, difficulties, uh, because that's not that important, right? Uh, and like uh, an improvement alliance system, uh, improve the alliance recommendation page. Uh, alliance will be shown on the page even if their power requirements is higher than your current power, allowing you to understand the strengths of the each alliance make make plans to increase your power and choose an alliance that suits you best and also like we are they are adding some eight new emojis for the charts and uh, some 20 dynamic emojis for the heroes what do i think about all this update uh, for the like at first i really really like that they are keeping the signal talents for us uh, policies would have been changed it happened already many times it's not a news for me but keeping the seasonal talents is an amazing change, it will give the game a new direction in my opinion. Of course, I'm all about new legendary heroes and as a marksman main, I'm really really excited to get these two heroes. Uh, that's why I'm saving all of my gems, not spending anything to get, well, at least um, Zaida, uh, which will be from the Lucky Spins, right? Uh, Magrat will be difficult for a free to play player to obtain, but still a great uh, one because we needed to have Marksman Garrison, a legendary hero with precision. New artifact, nothing really special, and I think uh, changes towards infantry and cavalry units is one of the most important, right? Because these two legion types have been the one of the weakest in my opinion. Cavalry will get a more damage uh, against range units and uh, infantry will have more tankiness against range units, which is a great change. Uh, in my opinion, every single legion type should have their own gameplay and the player should be deciding uh, which kind of gameplay they like to play. For the warped system, um, like if we are, we will be able to upgrade the stars of the skills. is a great change for every to play players. So far, this update will be is a positive for me, like hundred percent. I like almost every single uh, thing which they which they are adding or changing. So, like, share your opinion. Tell me what do you think. Uh, maybe you have you have missed this uh, email because it's really easy to miss it whenever you are fighting or having war uh, every single day you are having a lot of new messages uh, getting through your email so far this is what i wanted to say my opinion my view about the changes for the future of the game which i like a lot share your opinion because your opinion is always really really important for me uh, so far thanks for watching if you are enjoying the content i'm making um, press like subscribe share it always gives me more and more motivation to make more uh, content for you guys thanks for watching i hope you are having an amazing day night or morning depending whenever you are i'm gonna see you very very soon bye bye and good luck